So here I have a newly created data frame and it has no projection. I can see this by right clicking on this data frame name and looking at its properties there. And you can see in the bottom here, there's no coordinate system specified for the current coordinate system. Now Arc does a funny thing. As soon as I load data in, this in this case, some US states data in a Mercator projection, it assumes I want that data frame to take on that projection of the first data layer loaded. Now, I can go ahead and change that later on, but if I don't, the first thing I load then sets the data frame coordinate system, and anything I load gets projected into that coordinate system if it can be. So here I can go change that to an Albers. So I'm specifying another coordinate system. And notice it changes the shape and area and coordinates of the features in this US data set. So I'm picking various uh, coordinate systems and projecting into them on the fly. Now this is temporary. It takes the data on the disk, reads the coordinate system, looks at the output projection, and if the coordinate projection for the data are different from the output, it just projects them for display, but doesn't save a copy or change anything on the disk. I can go through a bunch of different ones, and you'll notice how the shape changes. So you have to be careful about inferring what the coordinate system is for a data set, because any data set I load gets transformed to the data frame coordinate system temporarily. It doesn't tell me anything about what the coordinate system is for the data itself. For that, I'd have to right click on the data layer in the table of contents and look at the data layer's properties. There's a tab you can open to see what the projection is. Another thing is you can't always project a data layer because there's a thing called a PRJ file, as we've described before, and this PRJ file has the coordinate system for that data set recorded, and if the PRJ file is lost or doesn't exist, and then ARC can't reproject your data. But when the PRJ file exists, you get this temporary coordinate projection and your data will show up in the data frame.